close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And try to keep other thoughts away from the breath. You want to keep your attention right here. Create a safe space inside where greed, aversion, and delusion don't have any chance to come in. You want to be alert and awake right here. You need a safe space inside if you're going to be creating a safe space outside as well. We live in this world, and the news keeps reminding us that this is not a safe world. Simply the fact that we're born means we're going to be subject to aging and illness and death, separation from all that we like. These things are inevitable. And then on top of it, there are the things that we do to each other to harm one another. So to find some safety, though, you have to first look inside, because the source of all the dangers comes from within. And then you know how to spread that. You want to spread thoughts of goodwill to all beings. You want happiness? They want happiness, too. So try to find a happiness that doesn't step on other people's happiness, that doesn't push their happiness out of the way. That's a happiness that has to come from within. And then the results of that happiness should come out. Even more before you get very far in the meditation, though, you should also think about your actions. Because as the Buddha said, when you give safety to the world through the precepts, you're going to get a share in that safety, too. In other words, you're not going to kill anybody, you're not going to steal anything from anybody, you're not going to have illicit sex with anybody, you're not going to lie, you're not going to take alcohol or other intoxicants. That's giving some safety to the world. And you make the promise to yourself you're going to follow these precepts in all situations. That means you're giving universal safety, safety all around. And then, of course, then you have a share in that safety, too. And this is how safety can be found in the world. You, you don't demand safety from the world. You give safety to the world first. And that way the safety comes back and protects you. So even though there's going to be a human world for who knows how much longer, and people doing human kinds of things, in other words, sometimes very inhuman, but the fact that we've created a safe space here means that we've created a, an area where we can develop and grow. And the people who receive our influence can, can develop and grow as well. That kind of safety is secure. You go around trying to make sure there's no unsafe places in the world, no unsafe people, well, you become an unsafe person yourself. So you start by giving safety through your actions, through your words, through your thoughts of goodwill. That way you create a safe space around you, and that safe safety comes in and protects you as well.